Hello there. I'm back from the dead. <laughs> I don't know how to intro this video. It's been over two years and I haven't uploaded to my channel. Um, so hi, I'm back for the time being. I do want to upload quite a bit this year. Don't know what it'll be. I am planning on doing some like more vloggy style videos but i do like to do these sit down videos because it's kind of like a test of discipline for myself you know i need to finish this page and not only this page but also this video you know sit down start recording continue recording through the entire process edit the video voiceover which i hate by the way i hate voiceover if i was any good at editing i would figure out how to chop up real time sketching and, talk and talking and make it like one thing but you know i'm not the best i'm still learning so here we are i'm doing a voiceover i hate voiceovers I said that already, but you know, I'm gonna reiterate it. And later in the video, I say it again. So maybe at some point I will buckle down and get really good at editing and then not have to even worry about this part of the video, you know? But that's a future me problem. That is a me 10 videos, 15, 20 videos from now. For now, we will overcome i will get over my hate for voiceover god i'm just yapping this is what i'm gonna call the video me yapping for 20 minutes about what i don't know i guess life updates so some life updates i am graduating in may finally i'm getting a bachelor's of art in art concentration in photography i'm very excited about that you know why because i'll finally have a degree and i can stop thinking about school forever unless i decide i want to go for a master's which i don't not right now honestly not in the plans not in the books maybe in the future i'll go back and get like a master's degree but it probably won't be in art because i love art but i think i've mastered everything that i need to for now and then i can kind of just um add more information to my brain and that'll inform my art practice rather than going back and then doing like an intensive for two or three years i don't know for me I don't think it would be worth it. I could see what you can get out of it, I guess. Um, but for now, for me, it's not a good fit. If I go back, I'll probably do a master's in like history or anthropology just to enrich my art, but not as, you know, I want to branch out as well. So I didn't want to chop out too much of the process here in the beginning because I was having a really, really hard time sketching this out, um, especially this figure on the left. It was full body, right? So in my head, I thought it was going to be slightly easier to draw than it ended up being. I did have to go back and erase a lot and then like kind of reproportion a lot. But I'm glad that I toughed it out because at the end it doesn't look too bad. I'm kind of proud of it, especially like the legs because I don't really draw the back of legs too often. So I'm kind of proud of myself because I just tried my best to like get the shape of the legs that I saw in the reference picture as close as I could. And then... Um, for the figure on the right bottom side, I'll start drawing her in a little bit, but she's my original character, Frankie. I also had a really hard time drawing her. I don't know, both of these references were interesting to me, but they ended up being slightly harder than I thought they were going to be, which I think is good, because I feel like I don't push myself too much when I see references i don't know sometimes i get scared that i'm not gonna be able to draw them very well so then i just end up not drawing at all and i think that's one of my biggest problems is i get intimidated by poses 
or too picky with my poses and then I end up drawing nothing and I do that for months at a time you know so this page I'm proud of it regardless of the outcome and the final product I'm proud that I finished it and that I toughed it out you know Apart from that, I want to upload a lot more this year onto this channel. I do want to do a couple of vlogs and kind of document the last couple of months of my college career and then see where it takes me because, you know, I'm graduating and I think it would be just a nice hobby to have after I leave school because... I'm not going to have that support system anymore, you know? That group of friends that I talk to every day. So I think this is going to be a nice outlet for me to kind of just talk about whatever I want. The way I used to, when I used to upload videos more often. Are you guys looking forward to anything in 2024? Any shows? Any big plans? Any big events? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing this year. Okay, so intermission, because I drew this at like 10.30 p.m. yesterday, and I kind of hate doing voiceovers, so <laughs> I might as well just talk over whatever I'm doing right now. Um, my camera's battery is dying right now, and that took me like three hours to even um, figure out where the charger was, but hey, here we are. I'm waiting for the other battery to charge. This one's about to die, but we're doing what we're doing right now. Um, so the intermission, this is my second, um, oh, I better not drop it, um, tea, chai latte, and I put coconut flavor in it, and yeah, it's my second one of the day. I, I sat down last night to draw this because my New Year's goal is to finish this sketchbook by the end of this year, which I don't think will be too difficult. That being said, I have only in um, the span of one year, um, I only did these pages. So I only did this many pages in one year. To be fair, I am about to graduate college, so I have been more focused on um, getting like my photography uh, work done than sketching in here but since I'm graduating this semester I do want to um, kind of branch out and back into my art so I'm excited for that but it's kind of disappointing that I started this on December 22nd 2022 and it's 2024 now and this is all I have done so my goal is to 
finish up this sketchbook. I don't have too, too many pages to do. And then possibly finish up this sketchbook as well. I did just purchase this one a little bit ago and I started it in, in November. So, um, yeah. I want to get back into that. I also want to get back into video making because it's been a while. I love inking. It's one of my favorite things. I do feel like I hold my breath when I ink. Like it's kind of nerve wracking, but I super enjoy doing it, especially with this Tambo Fudanosuke pen. It's been one of my favorites for quite a while now. I'm pretty sure I've used it throughout this entire sketchbook. I like that you can get variation with it and you don't have to change out to different pens, maybe like a micron. My, I go to and the microns is like a 0 0.5 micron um, and this is pretty chunky but I do love me some chunky line art. So Fudenosuke Tombow has been my go-to for a while now and I do not regret it whatsoever. So I'm glad I toughed this out, but you know, it's not going to be my proudest page of the year. Personally, I'm not too happy with it, but the important thing and the goal here was just to get it done because for me, I don't know, when I'm making something, sometimes all I need to do to get out of a rut is follow through with it no matter the outcome and then that'll give me the push to keep creating until I get something that I really like maybe further down the line. So the coloring for this page was extremely chaotic and it ended up being not very cohesive and I think it's because I decided to go mixed media for this page and I kind of regret it because I don't really have a lot of markers so I don't know what compelled me to be like let me pull out all of my alcohol markers and my water water-based markers for this page when I don't have a big variety anymore. I used to have a pack of Ohuhu markers, but I haven't had those in a very, very long time. So I don't have a very big range of colors to choose from. To be honest, I should have just stuck with watercolor because I can get a much more cohesive color palette that way. But you know what? I was playing around and I think it's okay to make mistakes and make me not like everything that you make. It's part of the process, you know?
see the problem with having a limited color palette is that sometimes the colors that you have don't really go together and I think that the colors that I chose for Frankie's outfit kind of didn't really work. By the end I really didn't love it and I ended up having to go back in with watercolor anyway but since I was using those Ecoline markers they're water based and they were smudgy everywhere so next time I think I'm just gonna go back to my watercolor and stick with what I know that I like you know I, I don't regret playing around but I don't think I'll do it again in this case So if you guys had any video recommendations for future videos, if you could drop those in the comments, that would help me out. It's not necessary and you don't have to recommend anything, but if you wanted to see any like specific content, um, totally drop it down below. Anything like vlogs or like tutorial videos or maybe process videos of some of my other art stuff like I have a lot of cool things that I learned like I know how to make a pinhole camera and that kind of stuff so if anyone was interested in like more um, tutorial videos or anything like that just let me know in the comments I will try my best to make any videos that you guys recommend Alrighty you guys, we are getting to the end of the video. Um, I would like to thank you for those of you that came back. And not a lot has changed, so my social media is still the same. My Instagram is KathyZPandy. But if you wanted to follow my other account, I have a photography account. That is KathyXPhoto. And that's where I upload a lot of my photography work. You don't have to follow me there, but I am a little bit more active there than on Kathy ZPMG. Do bear with me. I will be updating my banner and my profile picture and all that on here. But it's just going to take me a little bit since this is kind of spur of the moment that I decided to come back to YouTube. So just give me like a week or two. should be updated. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.